हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बूट स्टैप फाइव वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल्स सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल्स वी अंडरस्टूड व्हाट इज बूट स्टैप हाउ टू डाउनलोड बूट स्टैप हाउ टू ऐड बूट स्टैप टू आवर वेबसाइट बूट स्टैप टेक्स्ट फॉर्मेटिंग रिलेटेड क्लासेस बूट स्टैप टेक्स्ट साइज रिलेटेड क्लासेस बूट स्टैप टेक्स्ट कलर रिलेटेड क्लासेस एंड बूट स्टैप बैकग्राउंड कलर रिलेटेड क्लासेस In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss Bootstrap heading related classes. You can see here at the desktop, we have My Dash website folder. I double click to open it. Inside My Dash website folder, we have default .html page. I right click on it, say Open with the Notepad. You can see that default .html page is open in the Notepad. Its title is set to Bootstrap demo. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with the Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to Bootstrap Demo. Let's go and understand Bootstrap Heading Related Classes. Bootstrap Heading Related Classes are used to display the content of an HTML tag as heading. Bootstrap Heading Related Classes are used to display the content of an HTML tag as a heading guys for example we have h1 class it is used to display the content of an html tag as html heading 1 h1 class is used to display the content of an html tag as html heading 1 for example here in the body section i say opening h1 closing h1 inside that i put the content h e a d i n g heading 1 if I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, heading 1 is displayed. I go to the body section, I am going to say opening P, closing P. Inside that I put the content, heading 1. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, one more time heading 1 is displayed. This heading 1 is displayed by HTML H1 tag. This heading 1 is displayed by the paragraph, right? Now I want to display this heading 1 same as this heading 1. So simply what I do, I take help of the class h1. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see you cannot find the difference between this heading 1 text and this heading 1 text. This heading 1 is coming from the h1 tag. And the second heading one is coming from the paragraph with h1 class. So h1 class is used to display the content of an HTML tag as HTML heading one. Next we have h2 class. It is used to display the content of an HTML tag as HTML heading two guys. For example, if I come here and say opening h2, closing h2. Here I am going to put the content heading two. I copy this and paste down. Here I say opening P and closing P. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, heading to, heading to display. And you can find there is a difference between this heading to and this heading to. I want to display this heading to same as this heading to. So simply what I do, I take help of the class of H2. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see this heading 2 and this heading 2 are getting displayed as same. There is no difference, right? So h2 class is used to display the content of an HTML tag as HTML heading 2. In the same way, we have h3 used to display the content of an HTML tag as HTML heading 3. For example, I am going to copy these two and paste down. Here I say h3 h3 let me remove this paragraph class here i say heading 3 t h r double e 3 here i say t h r double e 3 if i say file save go to browser and refresh heading 3 heading 3 i want to display this paragraph text same as this heading 3 so simply what i do guys i take help of the class of h3 if i say file Save, go to browser and refresh. 
you cannot find the difference between this heading 3 and this heading 3 text right so that is how you can use the bootstrap heading related classes guys h4 class is used to display the content of an html tag as html heading 4 you can see here i am going to copy this line of code and paste down i say here h4 h4 heading 4 i am going to copy this and paste down here I say opening P, closing P. I change this to capital, heading 4, heading 4. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, heading 4, heading 4 displayed. I want to display this heading 4, same as this heading 4 text. So very simple, we take help of the class of H4. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh you can see there is no difference between this heading 4 and this heading 4 right next we have h5 class used to display the content of an html tag as html heading 5 for example i am going to copy this line of code and paste down here i say h5 here i say h5 here i say heading 5 i copy this paste down replace this h5 with p replace this h5 with p if i say file save go to browser and refresh heading 5 heading 5 displayed this is coming from html h5 tag this is coming from html p tag i want to make them look same so simply i am going to take help of the class of h5 if i say file save go to browser and refresh so this paragraph is looking like heading 5 right html heading 5 element very simple right next we have h6 class used to display the content of an html tag as html heading 6 guys for example i copy this and paste down here i say h6 here i say h6 here i say heading 6 i copy this line of code and paste down and replace this with p and closing p file save go to browser and refresh heading 6 heading 6 displayed let's make this heading 6 look same as this heading 6 let's make it bold right so simply we take help of the class here saying h6 if i say file save go to browser and refresh you see these two are looking same i hope you guys have clearly understood bootstrap heading related classes used to display the content of an html tag as a heading h1 class is used to display the content of an html tag as html heading 1 h2 class is used to display the content of an html tag as html heading 2 and so on guys so we have h1 class to h6 class okay i hope you guys have clearly understood for this video tutorial this much is enough friends if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about bootstrap 5 for more benefits and be update do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial